Hey y'all, this is Cliff with the Dusty Cliffs and today we've got the PSC Heritage One Piece Recurve. I just got it in, gonna do an unboxing. Unfortunately, the box has beat the crap. It's even marked from the post office, received damage. So, we're gonna open it. Hopefully everything's good. Ain't looking so good so far. Hold on a second, we'll be right back. <laughs> just received this just found it on my front porch when I went uptown and I said there ain't no way that that's my new bow because that thing is destroyed but we're gonna open it maybe the bow's fine I took pictures of the box and everything in case I have to return it really don't want to but I got lucky. Well, I tell you, that's definitely lightweight as advertised. It does come with this little carry bag. Oh, no, okay. Nope, everything's fine. I don't see any damage to the bow. Just the box. Of course, it's got the string up here. And it's marked right there is the, the PSE Anthem, 50 pounds. I believe this is a 60 inch. And that thing is light as a feather. I really like the, the wood on it. looks really nice. Shelf's got the nice curve there. I like that. I don't like the flat shelf too much because too much feather interference. Overall, I think it's a good looking bow. Don't know how it's gonna shoot yet. I'm gonna string it up and I'll be right back. All right, got it strung up. It comes with the regular just the BCY string, 16 strand, and it's linked for a one piece bow at 60 inches. So I, did, I didn't see many reviews on this thing. That's one reason I wanted to get it because I got it. It's a new bow. They were selling them for $99 with free shipping. But I kept going back and looking and I found them they had an auction on them and I forget what the shipping was I think $25 but it was on a bid so I ended up winning this with shipping tax everything I got it for $71 so I don't think I got hurt on that and the reason I wanted a small light one piece bow was because there's turkeys there's turkeys to hunt I wanted something small to get around in the in the thick stuff with for some turkeys. So we will see how this thing works. I'm letting the string stretch out. I'll probably let that stretch out for a while. One review I saw, the fella, one of the fellas said that he couldn't, he could never get it, the string twisted enough to get to the brace height that it recommended. 
but it said between seven and seven and a half and I'm just I mean like seven and five eighths right there right in the center so by the time it stretches a little bit I don't see how you could not get that brace height out of that string unless unless he got one that had a different string or something was wrong but I'm gonna let this stretch out a little bit I'm gonna put the shelf on there and it looks like it just comes with a little bit of calf's hair So let me find something for this shelf and we'll, we'll get that taken care of. We'll let this stretch out. So don't run off too fast. So far I like it. Ain't shot it yet. Now I will say, you know my other bows, I've got the Bob Thompson. That's a heavy sucker. That's like 62 inches or 62 pounds at 30 inches, which I don't have a 30 inch draw. And I, I've got that Sage, that's a 50 pounds at 28 inches. But this one definitely pulls a lot stiffer. And it, it's stiff all the way through. I mean, you're right there on that. So I don't really know how that would be if you went with a 3 under. It might not work with a 3 under sort of thing. Don't know. We're just trying it out. We're just practicing with it. So far, I I believe you could carry this around in the woods all day with no problem. Now, I'm just going to use some arrows that I've already got here to try it out with. But we'll go out here in the shooting range, a.k.a. my garage right outside the door, and shoot it here in a minute. So you hold on. All right. Well, the lighting ain't too great in here. Like I said, it's my garage. But it's also the Dusty Cliffs shooting range. So we're just going to shoot some of these. These are the gold tip. Traditional 500 spine. I don't even have a spot marked out on there. If I had to say, I'd say... We'll see how they fly right there. I'm going to try to shoot three under. Don't know how that'll do. Like I said, this thing's probably not tillered for that, but what the heck? You don't know until you try it. Boy, that string's going to be a little bit. I have to work that string. Holy crap. I didn't mark a knocking point because I know this string is going to stretch. Just kind of guessing at it. I'm almost embarrassed to show you all this because this ain't very far but there's this that's the first two that's the third one by that time I was so happy with those two that that one just kind of got away from me so we'll go back inside and talk about it a little bit more give me a sec see I use my phone to control the thing so I can see myself on both of them Well, that's kind of the quick and dirty of it. It's a pretty little bow. It's a light little bow, very light. Uh, that 50 pounds. Like I said it, it's it's stiff all the way through, but it's not unmanageable. I mean, you know, you got it all the way through. Right now. 
See that brake site's already come down almost an eighth of an inch. I don't have a knock point set up yet. I'm just shooting off a bare shelf with that little piece of hide to give you there. But, but I think for them little short shots that I'm looking to get with this, I think it'll be good for that. One fella told some guy to just get rid of it because it's so light it'll jump out of your hand. And I don't know what he meant by that because I didn't feel that at all. I didn't feel any real string shock or vibration. For $71, I don't think I got hurt. I'll try to put up a maybe a picture of the, uh, the details of what wood and fiberglass and everything they use on it. But, hey, like I said, 71 bucks to my door. Box was beat to crap, but the bow was fine. Got this little bag that I'll probably never use. First shots, like I said, these little... Uh, gold tip traditionals with 500 spine and I just got 125 grains up front seem like they're good and straight through that I might just use those right there but that's all I got for you today y'all come back and we can talk some more I'll catch you later oh yeah remember to like and subscribe y'all ain't doing that get on that